Um, there's an ending, something being laid to rest with um, the lover's card here. Um, or a karmic. So um, this doesn't necessarily have to mean you were lovers with a family member, so don't get it twisted. The lovers is um, a karmic energy, um, especially in the reverse. So there could have been a family member who is karmic and toxic, um, or this could have been an ending or um, a toxic relationship being laid to rest. So there may be something stuck or something is frozen. Um, there may be a moment of pausing and reflection. So there may be some reflecting that needs to be done <clears throat> after the end of a toxic cycle with um, or relationship with this karmic, whether it was a friend, family member, whatever, um, or an actual lover. But um, there's someone here who's taking a moment to reflect, possibly doing some shadow work or doing some healing. Someone could have been taken off their career path. Someone was not in their life's calling. Someone was not interested in building a legacy. Um, someone was not able to build a legacy when they were with this person. It's like they couldn't build anything sustainable when they were attached to this person. It's like they would always come and like try to knock it down or, um, you know, just block anything good that was going to happen for this person. Yeah, someone here didn't have a positive outcome. This karmic person did not have a positive outcome, and this is not a victory. So, um, this was not a situation where you could build with this person. You couldn't build a foundation. You couldn't possibly even keep a job because they were always trying to interfere with you or your work or what you're doing. This could be somebody who didn't like maybe what you did for work as well. So they could have been intentionally sabotaging your work. This is an unsuccessful partnership. So for some of you, this is somebody that you were in an actual relationship with, and there was not a positive outcome. Um, you're waiting for you're you're waiting for the um, you know the right person, the right opportunity. So you may be spending some time alone after this karmic situation ended. You may have needed to take some time to heal. You're waiting on the right offer, not just any offer. So you may have had people coming your way. You may have had offers coming to you. But you're not just accepting any offer, which is as it should be. I have a feeling you know what you're looking for. You know what you're waiting for. You learned your lessons. Especially if someone had you in a third-party situation. You are, you just, you don't. You don't do third-party situations. You're in your Queen of Swords energy. So your cutoff game is strong. You're using your head more. Um, thinking logically. Um, you know, it's just, it's just like you're, um... <clears throat> Not really focused on the love aspect, possibly. It just may not be something that, you know, you're out looking for. You may be gifted um, or talented here, and that's going to help bring balance to a situation. So, you may have been using your gifts here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you may have been using your gifts or talents here to work on building a legacy and somebody was trying to block that from happening. They could have been jealous of you or they may not have liked what you did, especially if it was like a spiritual thing. They may have been trying to dissuade you or get you fired. They could have been jealous of what you do because they're not gifted. <clears throat> yeah, there's someone here that's not moving on to calmer waters. The seeds they've planted, they're not growing. Someone can't manifest. This is a gold digger energy. So this toxic person that you ended a relationship with, gold digger, they're not good with money. You do have options. You do. And somebody may want to partner up with you with the Two of Cups situation. Um, you may be trying to transition more out of your King or King or Queen of Swords energy and more into a King or Queen of Cups energy. Um, but somebody definitely could be interested in partnering, partnering up with you, and you definitely have options when it comes to partnering up or ending up in a relationship. But you learned your lessons after dealing with this King of Pentacles in the reverse here. Um, this toxic masculine energy. So you pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> you know, if you see red flags, you don't run towards it. You know, it's not six flags. You don't you don't go running towards it for the fun ride because it's not fun you yeah, been there done that you probably have the t-shirt someone's being stealthy and sneaky though in your energy 
and they're being secretive about it. So something that was, someone could be um, exposing themselves. So what's done in darkness is being brought to light here with the moon's secret energy. Um, so someone may not be as sneaky as they thought they were, or they may be coming out. They may be like exposing themselves, or you may catch them being sneaky and stealthy, like trying to play in your energy or kind of lurking around doing something secretive. This person could be trying to partner up with you because they know you might be ready to start dating again or entering into a relationship. So there's someone here who's lurking. I'm getting a lurk energy, especially in the nighttime. Like these are two cards back to back with something being done in the darkness. So dark. Someone does something very sneaky and stealthy in, in the nighttime. Someone could be taking some sort of swift action or taking, um, you know, some sort of communication, some sort of action to communicate something to you quickly to send you a message. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody didn't get the money they thought they were going to get. There's a King of Pentacles here, like Gold Digger Energy, expected to get some sort of money or finances, and they're not getting it. This could have been, like, you know, in a separation, divorce. Um, they could have been a thief. And something is stuck. So somebody is stuck possibly because they don't have money or they were expecting to get, to get some sort of money and they didn't get it. Yeah, something is over because someone's a liar. With the Knight of Swords, the Death, and the High Priestess. So somebody could have been like a dark practitioner or doing some sort of spell work on somebody's finances here to stop you from moving or stop you from having some sort of options. And they're being stealthy and sneaky about it. They do something in the nighttime. Um, be careful of your property, your home, your vehicle. Someone could be trying to damage your stuff so that it's like you hemorrhage out money or finances or something. They're trying to affect your finances. They're doing spell work on your money. And there's something to do with a feminine energy here. There's a queen of wands here. Energy and a lack of work or not wanting to work. Um, so somebody rushed in with some sort of lie to stop a queen of wands from working. So this could be past energy. So they were trying to stop you from working by affecting your job or career, by getting you fired. You could be a natural born leader, even though these are in the reverse. You have to, you know, that's why it pays to be an, an intuitive reader. You have to look at the surrounding cards and the energy you're picking up. But somebody didn't want you to be able to work. And with the Knight of Pentacles and the reverse, and the high priestess, you could be the high priestess. You could be the queen of wands and um, the high priestess and somebody was interfering with your work. So that could have already happened. That could be what the king of pentacles did. And you healed from this. So you healed. The wheel of fortune is, you know, in your favor. You could be getting ready to move. You could be buying a house. You could be purchasing a house. So it's time for you to move on. And this person, someone's lurking here. Someone's lurking. You could be worried about your financial stability or your financial stability is protected. the bearer of bad news but we have this king of pentacles here they want you to live with them <laughs> oh god okay so they think that if you live with them or if you okay so you may have a decision to make here that hasn't come out yet but man all right so someone thinks that they're going to have a victory, and um, when it when it comes to some sort of treasure, okay. So this King of Pentacles is trying to stop you from getting this house. You have a house. You're going to be moving. 
they want you under the same roof though because if they live under the same roof as you they think they're going to have a victory when it comes to taking a treasure or getting a treasure these all came out sideways so this is now near future energy this person is coming towards you they're, they're going to say they want to balance out the situation they're going to portray themselves as giving you the offer you've been waiting for this is the king of wands they're coming towards you with an offer The Knight of Cups. So they could think that you're juggling money, your finances. They, th they may think you're broke or poor here, but your financial stability is protected. So they may not know what you have or how much, you know, what, what you do have, but they want to find out. They could also be coming towards you because they're juggling finances and you have financial stability. So they, you know, they're gold digger. They need money. <laughs> and you're the treasure you have the ability to rebuild to manifest you know to grow those pinnacles um you're abundant oh man that's what they're being stealthy and sneaky about the magician You're in control. Your manifestations are coming true. And that has someone in despair. Because more than likely, you're going to choose to be independent, stay single, keep your options open, not rush into anything, and live on your own for a while. Once again, the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wanted to um, take your gifts or talents away from you, possibly so you couldn't use them to make money. Someone is competing with you. They're keeping a secret. The moon card. This this person could even be in competition with you. <clears throat> or they have you in some secret competition with someone else with the moon card here. There's, there's a secret that someone is hiding that's going to be revealed. And you could even be manifesting, you know, the truth about what happened regarding a situation. But you're moving on. Balance is being restored. And you're going to, you know, you're going to get some sort of communication that's going to cause you to be celebrating. You're going to be happy. So somebody was competing with you for your gifts. Whether this was a third party situation or it was them themselves that were competing with you. I mean, I guess it happens, but the Wheel of Fortune's on your side, and that is bringing a huge tower moment because you healed, and they didn't expect this, and they're having fond memories of you. They're thinking about you, and they want you to be thinking about them, but you healed, so you're not obsessing about them. They could be sending you, like, telepathic messages, trying to reconnect a cord that was cut because they don't have access to your energy. Um, you're not paying them any attention. This is a huge tower moment for this person to know that you have healed because they are very manipulative to get what they want and they want money and so they want you to be thinking about them and reminiscing about the good times the only problem is is depending on how this relationship ended there might not be too many fond memories if this person was trying to compete with you and outdo you and affect your self-confidence and make you feel like shit all the time you know They're thinking about you a lot. <clears throat> they can't get you out of their head. They want you under the same roof. But, once again, it's the treasure. And the treasure doesn't have to be something of monetary value. Um, it could be your gift. Um, your inherited treasure, a spiritual gift, something you're gifted to do. So that they can benefit from it. Um, especially if you're making money or doing anything like that. Um, whatever you're talented at. This person is trying to compete with you where they were and they're they're secretly trying to still compete with you they're still trying to take something from you they're still a gold digger they're still a user they only want you for something what they can gain from you oh so they got a message of concern this is somebody that you were in a relationship or situationship with, somebody that you could have just been sleeping with. Maybe it wasn't that serious, maybe it was. Um, but someone that you were in a relationship with or situationship with, you know, however this resonates for you. 
Um, they got a message of concern that they're getting bad luck, that bad luck is coming for them, that they're not lucky, and they're going to be reaching out to you. So they could have gotten some bad news. This could be a health report, um, a health scare. They could have been given a time frame on how much longer they have to live, so cancer could be significant, something like that. Um, some sort of terminal illness or diagnosis, whatever this is. Um, I feel like something could be health related. Someone could be wanting to communicate that, you know, luck ran out for them. Um, maybe they feel like you could heal them if you live under the same roof or that you're the treasure. You could be a healer. So maybe it's not necessarily money. Maybe they wanted money in the past and now they want you to heal them. Maybe they know how good they felt when they were around you. Maybe they felt better. Maybe their health improved when they were around you before, even maybe before they knew they had health issues. Maybe they knew before and they just didn't tell you. Somebody felt like a million bucks when they were near you. It's like their energy improved, like their circulation. It's like their whole body started to improve just being around your energy and, you know, you're nurturing, loving. It's like your aura is naturally healing. So just being near you is very healing for this person. Um, you don't have to necessarily do like Reiki healing or anything like that. Just being near you and experiencing your, who you are, your aura, your energy, um, that has very, very extreme healing properties for whoever you are. this feminine energy here you're you're hesitant you're going to be guarded so if this person reaches out to you you're you have your doubts you doubt that this person has good intentions um i'm just picking up this air um this energy of doubt or hesitant like you're very guarded especially emotionally if they hurt you in some sort of way you being guarded causes a tower moment for them they're confused but they also could have backed out an engagement where you could have been married to this person. They regret their decision. This person may still have dark um, tendencies, okay? And you may be picking up on this. If you have some sort of spiritual gift, you may pick up on this. Somebody could have left you out in the cold here. On your own, running around, um, you know, like trying to beat the clock. So something, someone's trying to beat the clock. Because they're going to die. There's a cemetery here. So after they separated from you... They could have been, um, they're a runner, okay? So they ran away from you. And after they separated from you, they got some really bad news. That, um, they could be, um, on their way to pass away. <clears throat> okay, so that somebody was putting on a show... Um, when they ran away from you, they could have just been wanting to keep their options open. Someone who was non-committal, um... The King of Wands energy, someone who's restless, you know, um, they could have ran away because um, you didn't have anything to offer them. Or they thought that you were using them for money, which is kind of ironic. So they sent you a curveball. I'm just getting that they sent you a curveball when you found out that they were just playing games with you. The Emperor in the reverse. They did something... Um, and they threw you for a loop. They threw you for a curveball. So this person may have said that they wanted to be committed to you, be in a relationship with you, um, possibly even proposed to you. Maybe you lived under the same roof at, as one, at one time. This person was um, playing games with you and they threw you a curveball when you ended up getting left out in the cold here. And a child could be significant. Somebody could have had a child with somebody else or they could have put you in a third party. They could have gotten someone else pregnant. You could have a child with this person. 
Um, but they hurt you. There's something significant regarding children. So when they left you out in the cold or caused you to be in pain, they thought something was a game, but something wasn't a game to you because whatever actions they did, it hurt you bad. Like those spikes, they hurt and it has something to do with your child or your children. So something was like a domino effect in this relationship, some sort of action that they took caused something to happen with you and your own children or child. And um, this could have been very devastating for you. Maybe you didn't have a place to go. You could have been homeless. Um, and now this person wants to come towards you and make you some sort of offer. And, you know, they're thinking about you, but, you know, I don't know. It's like the damage has been done. There's, you know, damage. I don't know. You may have been looking for a way out, you know, looking for someone to help you. You may have knocked on their door and, you know, tried to get help from them. You know, maybe they said they would always be there for you or something like that. And they ended up slamming the door in your face, hurting you, leaving you out in the cold, um, not helping you. You know, they were not a friend. Um, yeah, they were very cold hearted, you know, with the actions that they took towards you. And it, it had a domino effect. There could be a reason to celebrate regarding a child or children, especially if you're moving into a new home or getting a new home. Maybe that's the staple that you need to get a child back. It can also be if this is your ex that you have a child with and they pass away, you could be, I, I hate to say this, but you could be celebrating when this person passes away because now you're not going to have to fight this person for your child anymore. And also, if you, I'm being led to say, if you were married to this person, after you separated from them, they put on a show and they were intentionally throwing curveballs to you. It's almost like nonstop. It's like they just wanted you, your life to be a complete shitstorm. So they definitely caused you a lot of problems. If you were married to this person, if you have children with this person. <clears throat> yeah, Empress, you're going to be celebrating. Someone's a snake. So that's the challenge is, you know, this person's a snake and you're the empress in the upright and there's something involving a child and when someone passes away, then it's going to be like a burden is going to be released from you because you're not going to have to fight with this person um, just to spend time with your child or, you know, possibly have custody of your child or visit with your child or have visitation, something like that. It can also be that someone's just acting childish. So this is a collective read. It can go a few different ways. But with the celebration here in the child, there is a child that is significant or children that is significant to the situation for some of you. So if that part doesn't apply, just let it go. person could be in bad health. I feel like they got some bad news regarding some sort of lab results or something or an x-ray, CT scan, MRI. There's a lot of tests that were done. Um, <clears throat> the lungs could be significant, emphysema, COPD, liver failure for some. Um, what is that? Cirrhosis? Cirrhosis of the liver could be significant. A law upholding judge could be significant. I only want you. <clears throat> so there may be a law official that's interested in you. Maybe they're your divorce lawyer. That's <laughs> way back, you know, um, if readings and readings ago, like months ago, it kept coming out that there was like a you know, a law upholding or, you know, an official person that was interested. A lot of times it was coming out that it was like an investigator or something like that. Um, but we have law upholding judges and I only want you. So maybe they couldn't come forward you because, um, you know, maybe they were dealing with custody issues with you and your spouse. Could have been a lawyer um, that turned, you know, got voted into a judge position. This person's not going to recover from what is wrong with them. They will miraculously recover in the reverse. They're not going to recover from this. They were stalking you, harassing you, causing you problems. 
you need to speak the truth. Someone needs to speak the truth about someone being guilty. Smiles are contagious. Be a carrier. They're carrying something, whether it's a terminal illness, an incurable ST, whatever this is. Um, they're a care. They um, you know, something could be contagious with it with the smiles are contagious and be a carrier something they have could actually be contagious which unfortunately is leading me to believe that it could be um something transmittable that's incurable like um hiv something like that it doesn't have to be um you know but for some it may be <sighs> find someone to love you i don't so you may not have love for this person anymore this person that kept you fighting all the time this is crazy because i literally just saw like a thing on tiktok where there was um a husband and wife who separated and it was the husband's doing he left the wife for a younger female and they had a grown you know grown children that were like in their 20s that still lived with the mother and he found out he was he was going to pass away and the adult children were actually upset that the mother wouldn't let their father move in with them so that the last days would be um you know he could die you know his last days but yeah it was it was like this a similar it was like this though like that is the energy like that's so messed up but it's that kind of energy um where it's like you were with somebody and they put you through hell, possibly drug out custody, you know, divorce, whatever, and just made your life a living hell. And then they're going to come and be like, can you take care of me? I'm dying kind of shit. And whether your kid's an adult or small child or something, you know. Oh, man, this is, uh, but that's, it's like that. <clears throat> And on TikTok, this person was asking if they were in the right or not. And, you know, like, if they left you for the younger person, and someone even said, well, let the adult children go live with them and take care of them, let them get jobs, you know, which makes sense. You know, I feel like this person's, that person was not obligated to take care of someone who left them, made everything bitter up until the very end, and then now needs someone to take care of them, and they go back to the person that they abandoned. We all have free will. We all have choice. I don't know. Like... It depends on what kind of heart you have, and I'm not saying that you don't have a heart if you don't do it. It just depends on you and what you've been through and how you had to heal from this situation and what's at stake. Um, you know, it's it. you may just have the attitude it's not your problem anymore, and that's fine. Like, there's, you know, it's fine. Everyone's going to handle this situation differently, and unless they are in this situation, no one has the right to judge anyone else for how they handle that decision. No one has walked in anyone else's shoes but their own. Let me make that shit very clear, okay? <clears throat> so if there are two people going through this and they both handle it two different ways, that is their business. No one else's business, and no one has the right to get pissed about it. Because if they were in that person's position... They can't say what they would do until they were in that position. And you may have a, you know, um, a law upholding judge or lawyer that wants to come spend the night. I don't know. Like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. This is jacked up. It is just so crazy that this is literally like, because when I heard that story, I was like, man, that's crazy. And then it literally just like unfolded like this. And I'm not saying that this is her story, but this is like the scenario, um, like the, the, Man, there was no good reason for how you were treated. There is no excuse. Someone's being two-faced. This is somebody that you were in a marriage with, okay? Deal marriage. They owe you money. You have different religious beliefs. You need to be patient. Wait a little longer. They're going to die, okay? Um, like, I don't know why I said it like that, and that, that sounded really insensitive, but that's the energy that I got. So I have to deliver the message how I got the energy. Um, someone just doesn't care. Um, if, so, if this person passes away, it will be like a burden lifted off of your shoulders. Like I said, and no one has the right to judge you for that. Okay? Yeah, you do you. I mean, that's between you and God. And I'm not mad about it. That's, that's you. This person could have tried to unalive you for real. So, um... I'm just hearing karma's a bitch. So, you know, that's kind of what they get. They brought it on themselves. And that is the energy I'm picking up. I'm not saying that's my own personal opinion. 
some of you, you know, if this person had spiritual gifts, they lost them. You don't want this person. Someone's going to come tell you some important information. And this has to do with the father, um, you know, or son situation. So this could be the father of your child. You know? They feel like, you know, they could be feeling alone or forgotten. Nobody wants to help them. Nobody wants to take care of them. But yeah, they went around treating everyone like shit. And so, um, you know, no one judges you. Whoever you are that's going to make this, you know, that's going to have to make this decision, you know, if you're, if you can sleep good at night and you're good, then you're good. I mean, I, if they tried to take you out, what, you know, you can only help people that want to be helped. They could have paid someone to take you out. I don't know. Like, oh. Uh, Okay, so we have a few signs here. M, N, O, or P could be significant. A Virgo could be significant. Sagittarius. Air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. On a Wednesday with the Capricorn. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, there's a storm here. Because someone got caught up in their own trap. Like, if they were sending death magic or death spells or anything like you, like that to you, they got caught in the crossfire and they were dedicated to this, jumped in with both feet. Like, they didn't, they had no shame about whatever they were doing when they were doing it. They were greedy, you know, a bottomless pit, and they wanted to keep you trapped and stuck so they could keep draining you. And they can't set themselves free from the pit. And I just heard the pits of hell, so I don't know. There's a lot of bad shit. This may, this person may just be dark, um, obviously if they tried to unalive you, and that's not going to be for everyone, so some of these things are going to apply to some people, and unfortunately, all of it may apply to some of you, and that's really unfortunate, but that's just where we are in life, on this timeline here, in this situation. <clears throat> So we have man a few words once a clean slate so you know um you may not have been in capricorn so capricorn um you know pulled the wool over your eyes they could be you know they pulled the wool over your eyes um possibly in the past they could be trying to pull the wool over your eyes yeah. <clears throat> but they're hoping for a clean slate with you Some of you are going to say, not in my backyard, you're not interested, you don't want this person around you. Um, they were thick as thieves with somebody else. You may tell them to go let their thief, you know, their partner in crime help take care of their ass. Because they didn't work on, they didn't want to work with you, determined to work in the reverse. Um, they didn't want to work with you. Someone is still shady as fuck. So, um, keep in mind that somebody could also be lying and saying, okay, so for some... That is a whole thing. That is a whole real thing. Someone actually is going through all that. For a few of you. Someone's being shady as fuck and they're just making all this up. And they're just trying to get you back under the same roof as them so they can finish the job. Alright, let's just let's just call it what it is. Thick as thieves and shady as fuck, someone's just a thief. That's not for everybody. Some people are actually going to pass away from health related conditions. And for some of you, someone's faking a health condition so that they can finish what they started so and for for those people they're not missing you in aquarius so you need to read between the lines okay this person lost their temper so they lost their temper and you flew the coop okay um so something already happened with this person when you lived with them you saw their true colors you saw them for who they are and you flew the coop um, for some of you, this person, for this situation, they're not really dying. They just want you to believe that so they can get you back under the same roof and screw you over and, and put you in a trap and finish the job. You may actually have a real treasure in that case. So, you know, someone really is ugly as sin. And karma's a bitch. 
for somebody who is easily tempted. The twist of fate is this person end up might actually end up with a health-related condition because of what they did to you. Um, for some of you, this could have already happened, and they're ending up in bad health because of what they did. A Leo is ugly as sin. They want you under the same roof. I told you. I told you. And they're chomping at the bit to get you under the same roof. And you left them spinning their wheels. Letter P could be significant. Person, place, or thing. Oh, probation officer, parole officer. Protective order could be significant. You may need to get a protective order. N. Maybe somebody did file for one. W. I someone really is putting on a dog and pony show but um, for some they really are in bad health and they really do need help taking care of themselves because nobody wants to take care of them which you know whatever Z and once again I don't mean to sound uncompassionate or nonchalant but I just I have to read the energy and that's what it's saying so it's kind of like I don't give a fuck energy but you know Z or D. Someone's getting dizzy and lightheaded. Whatever health condition they have, it could be making them dizzy and lightheaded. Um, vertigo could be significant. Another eye. This person could be watching. If you have a platform, they're watching, seeing if you've hooked up with somebody new. They know you have options. Um, but yeah, they're very dizzy. Like, they're just, um, they're feeling very weak. And I'll do one more. Last one. And B. A bid could be significant. Or somebody wants to. Someone may pay you for your services. Like they may offer to pay you to come take care of them or offer you like a place to stay to take care of them. I don't know. Um this is a collective read so there's a lot of different situations going on here for some of you someone's faking a health condition and for some of you someone really is in bad health and once again no matter what decision you make that's between you and god and this person and no one can blame you or judge you for whatever happens so um i hope this helps and god bless you because you have some um decisions to make okay all right have a good day